Hello, this is Anke for Golden Camera. I have the pleasure to talk to the one and only drum rolls, <laughs> Hugh Jackman. Thanks, Anke. Thank you. So, if I were to make a little, you know, ask around, who do you think is the greatest showman? Hmm. I would. I bet you everybody says Hugh Jackman. Really? Would you agree? I could come up with a few more. Timberlake is one of the greatest I've seen. Uh, Beyonce. There. I mean, there's some amazing showmen. Colin Hay, I think. Uh, so yeah, I always get a little nervous with the title, but I think when people see the movie, P.T. Barnum was more an off-stage showman than he was an on-stage showman. Sure, he was the ringleader. He did. In fact, there's some amazing stories of him doing things where acts wouldn't turn up. He had one guy who was a juggler, I think, and a comedian. He happened to be African American, and he was an alcoholic. And one day he didn't turn up. He was drunk. So Barnum literally put on boot polish on his face, went out, started juggling and telling jokes, and got away with it. So he, there was a showman in him. The show must go on. But what really defines him, I think, is his how to put a show together, how to think differently than anyone else, how to make people feel when they go to a show, and how to make them really happy when they leave. And that's what we're trying to pull off with this. This movie is also about big dreams and sure. being comfortable where, where you come from. Yeah. In which way do you identify with that? Do you, have you made peace with who you are? I think I have made peace with who I am, but I think it's relatively recently. I'm 49, turning 50 next year, so hopefully I've worked it out at this point. Um, but the message in this movie of be who you are, be what makes you different makes you special. And Barnum was very good at doing that for others. He made all these oddity, oddities, the bearded lady, you know, uh, the giant, all these three-legged man, tattooed man, all these, he made them beloved, right? Whereas previously they were hated, actually, and locked in basements. He brought them out into the spotlight, but he took a long time for him to do that for himself. He was always pushing to be something more than he was, feeling this need to get approval from others. And I can relate to that. I think this feeling that you're never quite good enough, you've got to keep fighting, is one I've recently got on top of. I think you're absolutely fine. Please do not ever change. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Anka.